really needs to get Findable Carpet a better pogo stick, because his is broken. But, while we try and find better a better form of locomotion for him, we'll watch a third place match, Flipside and PSG here. Now, you might sit there and be like, oh, they're not going to be European champs. What's the point of this match? Well, there's a big difference of who they compete against at the World Championships. If you lose this match, you got to compete against Chiefs in kind of the round one, the, the extra round that's there at the very beginning of a 10-team double elimination bracket. And then you go up against NRG right afterwards. If you place third, you go up against G2. You get put straight into the quarterfinals, so it's an extra round you have to avoid. You don't have to play against the monstrous Chiefs coming over from down under, and you don't have to go up against NRG, who's looking great again. So, you know. Uh, there's no real easy matchups, I would say, but I think the coolest part is if you do get to play against Energy, like, or not Energy, against G2, like, look who's playing. You got a DreamHack rematch for the Grand Finals mm -hmm. uh, at Leipzig, and then if you don't, it's literally Flipside versus, versus G2. G2. Like, yeah. Yeah. Cooks versus Kronovi to start us off. That'd be sick day one. Well, those are two very, very good stories, so I'm excited to see which one we get here. It'll be this best of seven that decides it. PSG versus Flipside. PSG surprising lots of people. I said, I'm just going to just go out right here and say it. In my article that I put out to the, to earlier today, a prediction bracket, I said PSG looked like the weakest team in the playoffs, and they have completely proven me wrong. I am completely convinced, but it was, uh, it was mouse sports. Yeah, I think a lot of us... Uh we're expecting Vitality to make it on through. But it's been a pleasant surprise so far. PSG showing they definitely belong here as well as at Las Vegas. Yep, they have played very well. And we'll see, can they get that DreamHack rematch? The third place game. Gotta win four here against Flipside. Flipside in the orange, PSG in the blue, and a nice shot from Mystic, defended by Chalcet, sent away, but Mystic's still here, sending into the midfield, but Yukio was demolished, that'll open up some space. Here goes Fruity, trying to move up. Chalcet picks it, puts it onto the backboard. Another demolition on the Cooks there. Heavy demolitions from PSG early here in game one. Chalcet will move it into the midfield, Fruity moving across, looking for the read on Yukio, and he's got it. Plays the back in the midfield. Here comes Farah with the pass upwards. Fruity's going to be airborne, but taken away by Yukio. Up to Mystic here. Looks like they'll go for the transition. All the way back down. Farah now out of his own corner. Gonna set up Fruity. Gets a bit zoned by his own teammate. Farah's got it all by himself. It's Yukio in net. Moving onto the wall. Cookshire sure comes in from the rotation. Gets it back to midfield. 3.50 on the clock. Still scoreless in game number one. Both teams with... Moments of ball control, but no threatening shots really on either side. Yeah, just a couple of mistakes coming out. Fair had an opportunity for a good pass, but he sets up Fruity there. Shot easily blocked by Flipside. Aggressive start so far for PSG. Working in those demos, it was something that worked rather well for Flipside against We Dumb Girls. Just haven't been able to find it themselves. Shaw sets it in that one away. Cookshire was up for the shot. Now Yukio in with a follow up, and it's wide. Fair will put it into his corner. Shaw's out winning challenges. Now up against Cookshire in front of midfield. The pass across to Yukio. The pass is missed. Mystic comes in, puts it on the backboard. Now Cookshire up and Shaw sets falling. Cookshire puts it back over to Mystic. The pass plays. Did he need that last pass? Who cares? They scored. Makes it look good. Mystic going up, hitting off that backboard. Draws two defenders with him. Because of the way he's challenging the ball from across the field, the touch that he gets is not enough. He actually ends up hitting the bottom side of his car and just kills it flat. Makes the setup nice and perfect. The follow-up, everybody involved. Flip side strikes first. Taking the early lead in game number one. Now looking to extend it. Yukio was in the box, but the ball was over his head. Now Mystic falling back. It'll be Cookser out of net. Sending it back onto the wall. Fruity coming back down the pinch. He just goes behind him. Just a long roller all the way in. And Cookser sends, or Mystic rather, sends in the second goal for Flipside. Just a matter of waiting on the back wall. He doesn't get at the initial corner boost. And because of that, it ends up getting taken. So he just sits in positions and waits for that moment. He's like, do I need to go downfield? Do I need to go to the backboard? Just gives himself that opportunity, but it falls into his lap and he just launches it downfield. Good start for Flipside. Halfway almost through match number one. A lot of game left to play. Very aggressive midfield positioning from PSG, opening up that backfield. They're trying to get the scoring going here. Flipside, successfully scoring from their own half will just kind of tighten things up for PSG on the back end, but that'll make it difficult on the front end. And another long one goes in here. Flipside just launching the shots. Again, Mystic on the back wall, just in the right position to make the play. But he talked about it. PSG aggressive positioning. Everybody moving up at the midfield. 
Makes a nice long clear available. And they put it away. Flip side, three nothing. Just slamming the net with the long range artillery. Oh, but here comes the response. Yukio can't get there in time. A great kickoff play as Fair is able to set it up and then break up the defense over the upper shot set. Really well done. The cheat up coming out. The way that Fruity's positioning on that kickoff, he is trying to drive right through that defender. It works out. The follow up, the cheat up working out. Good response. A quick response from PSG, but still down by two. Here's to see if that aggressive positioning continues. Kickoff goals. There's always a few of them. But you can't count on them. Lesser evil geniuses. Here comes Fair with a nice drop. Cookster's up and gets it over the side. He got Yukio up as well, but just kind of successfully repositions both of them. So Yukio's out to Cookster now. Mystic up. He's able to get over the top of one onto the backboard and drop and down. It'll be Shaw set. It puts it into the corner as Cookster moves up, trying to get it to Yukio. The Shaw set that removes, comes out of the corner with ball control. And oh my goodness, a nice touch to send it towards the goal. It'll be cleared, but the pressure's starting to come on here for PSG. This one out in front of the box. Mystic doesn't like that touch. Fair is able to get it past one. Can he drop it down by himself? Puts it down in front of the box. Yukio's there and gets it away from Chalset. Fair may be trying to do a little bit too much by himself. Pretty puts it into the corner. Cooks her across the field. Chalset, nice touch up to Fruity. Intercepted by Mystic and sent back to midfield now. He's up by himself, kind of alone in the corner. He'll go for the boost steal. It won't matter if he can't get it up to him now. Yukio trying to find Mystic. Chalset wasn't really part of that play. Well, 106 on the clock. Flip side getting more control. Mystic dropping another long ranger in. Fair gets this one away, but now the pass back across on Yukio with the dunk. Flip side up by three. Great play to maintain possession in the midfield. You saw Mystic checking back to his team. Even though the pass wasn't to any particular player, it shuts down the position and the, and the possession going to the other team. They allow themselves to push it back into the other side. And then just a solo effort from Yu-Gi-Oh! That dunk, absolutely beautiful. Putting them up by three, one minute left. In a great position here to take game number one. Now things looking very good for Flipside here. Just gotta hold on for 50 more seconds. Another shot, does this one hit? No, it'll go out. Double commit. Shot set now, coming back down the field, but scoring three and 44. It's gonna be a very difficult task. Yeah, they get it in front of the box, but oh, Shaw set bumps Fruity himself. Now trying to get it back away. The ball just rolling at midfield. Burning time off the clock, and Cookster will send it into the corner again. Things looking very good for Flipside right now. This PSG has had some early success. Look at another one in here with 26 seconds left. It's not impossible, but still very highly unlikely they will get the win. It's going very direct for PSG. That's twice now that the players in back have just rotated wide and then launched it directly towards the net. It's enough to draw up defenders, but then this time there's a pass at the top. Shoots it down, gets a goal. But as you stated, 25 seconds doesn't look like it's going to be enough time to tie it back up. But it is EU day, you just never know. Ferdi here into the corner. Yukio with a win. Hooks are not making much contact. This one back in front of the box. Yukio makes the block as Farah comes in. With 11 seconds left. They need a goal immediately. I don't think it's going to happen. Mystic puts it up onto the wall. Shaw gets a pass, and Ferdi's there, but Yukio takes it away, and that one will be the ball game. Game number one going to flip side here. This PSG made a game out of it, made it exciting. But still, like they said on the desk, maybe a little bit sad that they're not playing for the EU regional title. And coming off of a grueling defeat against Dignitas, PSG's gonna have to find a way to reground themselves. May not be for the regional title, but it is for pride, money, and seeding. Trying to give themselves a better position when it comes to that world championship bracket. Obviously these guys, the ability to kind of sit and watch, I think really helps, especially the nerves early on in a new arena and everybody else. So interesting to see how that plays out, but flip side, majority of the time, spreading out the field, getting everybody involved. Mystic with a hat trick on five shots. Cookster actually doesn't have any, setting up a majority of the plays. I think, I think at least two, if not all three of Mystic's shots came from his own half. They were just bombing the long ones. PSG trying to be aggressive, trying to play the pace that they were playing against with Dignitas, but there was a few mistakes. That first one we saw, kind of the worm burner all the way from their own kind of back right corner. There was just a small miss on the rotation. That little gap was all the flip side needed to get that first goal in. And when they're making little mistakes like that, you can't play aggressive because they'll score the easy ones on you. No, but it is a nice reassurance too, because like if they clear that stuff up, take away two, three goals, we've got a tie game and it makes it a totally different story. So obviously just clean up the rotations, make sure the touches are a little bit more on precise. 
maybe challenge them a little bit even closer. Obviously, they're playing that aggressive midfield. You might as well meet them to the ball at the same time. It'd be nice, too, to see PSG maybe tighten up a bit of their on the, on the shooting end of things. There were six saves from flip side. Kind of easily, all the, most of the shots we saw from PSG were easily defended. Easily, with, with better shot placement. This could be a very, very different here. Mystic demolished off a kickoff, but Yukio will get this one down. And now dropping it back down to Cookster. Here's shot towards the goal. Is it going to drop in? It does play. Blasting of a shot there. Flipside's got the lead. Just pretty to watch. Rudy tries to clear this one out, but already up there. Yukio jumping off the wall. Lays it in the lap. Cookster just puts a shot on target. Only nine seconds off that kickoff. Picking up right where they left off. Flipside in the lead again. Darren moves up to pick up the kickoff. Yukio sends it to the side. Now back into the middle here. Mystic thinks about it, but it respects Strawset already with the read. We'll go onto the wall once more. Yukio up now. Fruity gets this one through the back line as everybody was tied up on the midfield. The flip side. Here comes Mystic from the side. Gets a bump on a fair, but it's dropping down. Strawset comes in and it goes off the corner and in. It looked like the defense might be there, but no, we're tied up. Just great pressure all around. I talked about PSG. Rather than waiting at the middle, bring it to them on their own half. You're in the right position for it. And it starts at the beginning. Farah just gets in the face, pinches it across. And then Shaw said, rather than hesitating and waiting for the play to develop, he interjects himself and creates that opportunity. Great right. job by them. Only 20 seconds to tie it back I, up. I liked the brilliant awareness from Shaw said to realize the defense was coming, to realize they were going to touch this before he did. And he needed to go for the dunk. He got it into the corner. We're all tied up in the first minute. Both teams finding the back of the net here on Neo Tokyo. Yukio now by himself, eliminating Farif. Miss Kuxik will look for Mystic, but Mystic hanging back. You see Shawset come in and again. Shawset reads this game. It's been excellent. Shutting down a lot of the forward movement from flip side. Shawset across the field. Farif falling back, leaves it for Mystic, sends it towards the goal, but Fruity gets it away. Now Farif across midfield, up for Fruity. This one coming down soft. Yukio will send it to the wall. Only Shaw said, it gets a pass to one, now cooks her up. Putting it high. Yukio trying to play it over the top of Fruity, and it works out. But nobody follows it from flip side. They fall back and just give PSG the ball in their own territory. They'll punt it back in and onto the orange backboard here. Mystic getting zoned in net. Here comes Fair in for the shot. Is it going to be good enough? Cookser will be able to fill in the gap and get it away. But the pressure still on for PSG. Similar stories for actually both these squads. Just curious on how a third player was going to work out. Fruity, he has answered all the questions. Probably the star player of the squad, but you're seeing what they're fully capable of with the rest stepping in. As for flip side, Yukio, rookie last season, stepping up as the KBM player. And when he gets involved, Cookster's able to land those shots, and the rest follows through, giving us a rather close series for this third, fourth place match. Fera trying very hard on that last drive, taking a great shot. And then also a demolition. Mystic nearly drops it underneath the crossbar, but it bounces high. Flipside will stay on offense here. Cookser going to go down, gets it back into the box. He'll get the boost steal. So the rest of Flipside comes crashing in, looking for more scoring opportunities. So we're approaching halftime in game two. Cookser back in the box once more. Fruity gets it away, but it goes straight to Mystic now. Here comes Yukio. Fruity with the hit over the top. Putting it onto the backboard again. Now Mystic. Over into PSG territory, Yukio's challenge will go across the box, but Cookster's nowhere to be seen. Shaw sets shot on target. See Cookster successfully get this one away. Challenge is going very neutral here, as and this works out for PSG as they've got enemy territory. Yukio will pick up boost his own corner, try to bait him fair, and it works out for him. Here comes Cookster now to get it past Fruity with a nice fake. Yukio moving up, but engaged on the back line. Now flip side falling back once more. 143 on the clock, still tied up at one apiece. Back and forth they go, but the pressure from PSG is still there. At one point, flip side had two members of PSG under 10 boosts. Fruity the only one, but he was able to break out. Then the reason they're able to keep it in, Fruity's sole efforts to bring it downfield, dribbles past two. Tie game still as a shot on target saved by Cookser. Shawsack gets it away again. Cookser now with a savior medal here. Putting it back towards the box. But nobody really there to pick up the passes. This time a nice play back by Fruity. The blocks by Flipside. Cooks are now off the wall by himself. 
Pharaoh lofts it. Here comes Fruity in. Mystic gets this one away, and Yukio tries to follow. Chauset will be there first, and he's able to get it past. Now Farah up, sending the shot towards the goal. Cookshire will be there and clear it. Right now, PSG generally reading the field faster than Flipside and giving themselves more and more opportunities to score a demolition on defense. But Yukio makes the save. Now Mystic looking for the transition back down the field towards the goal. Fruity will send it to the corner and Mystic moves in. Cookshire's up as well. Now looking for the shot towards the goal. Now Fruity blocks him back at midfield. And they're moving up on the counterattack. Now this one will go wide and Mystic puts it back in. 30 seconds remaining and we're still tied up. Yukio by himself. Shaw set. Leaves it in midfield. Farah demolished on the back lines by Yukio. Oh, a shot. Going high, Fruity sends it away. Ferris following this one. We'll have one last attempt here to score. Overtime looming in the distance. Slot to the high shot sets moving up. Looks for the shot. Yukio's there, makes the save. Sends it away right at the buzzer beater. And it should touch the ground. We'll go to overtime in game two. Great attempt by PSG. They know there's no time left on the clock. They send a house, bring out a bump, but can't find it. The defensive flip side holds on. We go to overtime here in game number two. Trying to tie the series as PSG while Flip side tactics trying to put themselves one step closer to match point. Yukio off the lower corner. Mystic will send it back into the blue. He's got Yukio midfield just fruity in his way right now as he goes to try and put it on the wall. Fruity follows the ball, just mirrors its movement. Now Mystic here. Up against Fruity, gets it past one. Can't get it past Farah though, who has the read on the play. Moving it down by himself, just trying to get it past the next player. On the flip side defense, Fruity with a great challenge. We'll get one and then look for Cookser and Net, but not going to find anybody. And Yukio flicks the set. That's over fair as well. This is an opening. Yukio and Cookser going to try and work together. Just put it in the goal. A wide rotation from PSG leaves the net wide open and flip side wins. Three touches in a row from Mystic. He decides to slow it down and trap the ball even on his own half. That ends up drawing in the team of PSG. And the one time Yukio gets it, he just launches it downfield immediately. It opens up an opportunity. And flip side gets the win here in overtime. Done it two times now. So far, PSG yet to have the lead in the series. Flip side one, game number one, four to two. Now game two here by a one goal margin, but still doing well. Having to put up a lot of defense there. Ten saves for flip side. Again, the shots from PSG pretty easily defended there on that last drive. They had good plays, but the shot went pretty much directly at Yukio. He just had to jump and had to make sure he got a good clear off of it so that there was no follow-up. And right now, Flipside is doing a great job of saving shots and simultaneously eliminating the possibility of a follow-up. Yeah, every, every shot from PSG is saved. Ten for ten, so well played. But like you said, need to get a little bit more creative. As for Flipside, uh, I wouldn't say it's consistent. I would say it's um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the thing where you do something, you only need a little. I can't think of the word. I brain fart on the word. I'm trying to think of the concept. You're trying to think of the word for. I can't for. think of it. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Come back to me later. We'll, I will we'll figure, figure it out. out. I Cooks can't are, think of the word. Cooks what are here is, is averaging like 4.5 saves a game. I'm pretty sure he got four in game number one. He got five here. Right now, he's hunkered down to the defense. We're talking about the Cooks are here, the, the MVP from league play for Europe. It's been his two teammates, Mystic and Yukio, that have been doing the vast majority of the scoring today. Which is great. I mean, that just makes it easier for Cooks are. I think he's if not one of the best defenders on on the back end. Like his decision making, the ability to just kind of sit there and survey the field, I think is a, a valuable asset to the team. So where that's what's making him so strong. When the other two were performing that way, it just allows Cooks to be like, all right, I can either go for this and hit this crazy double touch in the clutch moment, but now I don't have to. So what do I do instead? Him having that option is kind of a scary thing. Yeah, just, just make sure they don't score. Easy. Here comes a shot from Farrell. Oh, this one off target. They nearly own goal, but Cookser and Mystic will be able to work together, figure it out, get it away. But a great pass play, the sort of plays that we saw PSG scoring on Dignitas. Doesn't quite work out here in the beginning of game three. A long shot. Chaussette will get this one away and out to the corner. Farrell rotates in behind him as Yukio comes in for the follow up. And another shot from Cookser. Oh my goodness. A great challenge in the box. Beauty of being able to have your teammates bring it downfield. Yukio's challenge from midfield already up in the air. No one is going to beat him to that ball. He just taps it back inside, and Gookser sweeps in. 2v1. There were two defenders there, and he successfully dunked them both. Difficulty, though, is the way they're positioned. No one is coming from across the net to push it out. They're just jumping straight up as oh. another shot from Yukio gets a goal. Drops it straight in. Flip side right now, up by two in game three. Well played again. Mystic just able to push that across, but the pass 
absolutely perfect off that back wall, playing it behind one and in front of another. That defender on the back wall has to jump out to make a save. It doesn't matter. Flipside bringing the pressure. Up by two. They are up by two in the series and now up by two in the game as well. A win here in game three. Set them up for the sweep. Have them facing G2, the World Championships. What a story that would be. I've seen Cookser and Kronovi playing again. First it's been time. A, been first time since season one. They'll be playing at the World Champs. Here's Yukio. Trying to play it underneath Chalset, but Chalset hits the brakes hard, and he'll, he'll get it onto the backboard. Fruity Airborne as well does it. He goes for the screen. Fair will take the shot. Brilliant play there from PSG. Fruity up with the distraction. Fair in with the sinker. Yeah, you saw Yuki originally, that challenge on Chalset. He jumps up and tries to get in the way of it. And it looks like he'd almost get that save, and he wanted to flick it out. But if you were to jump forward, I think it still would have been a little bit behind. Great placement for PSG, able to get another goal. Bring it back within one, oh. and Yukio. He tried, here's missing on the backboard. Cookster's already airborne. Does he drop it under? It hits the crossbar, and out a wickedly fast play from Flipside. It does not quite convert. They're still holding on to the lead, though. A bump, though, on the back line. Shaw said will try to move up. Shaw goes wide, a miss from Mystic on the wall. Cookster's got to help him out. Gets it all the way back down. Shaw set now to the corner. Nice high touch up to Farah. Going back down, Cookster up. Leaves that one. Mystic will come up now. Onto the backboard. Shaw and Yukio both up there. Nobody really making good contact. Cookster's just trying to play keep away at this point. Pretty demolished in the corner. Cookster and Mystic and Yukio. Man, tight positioning. All four, all three of them right there around the ball. But not being punished yet. Mystic and Yukio now working together. They got Cookster in the midfield. It goes back into the corner. 2.53 on the clock. In game three, flip side up by one. Trying to make it two right now. Fruity's back in. Farah is trying to connect on the pass, but intercepted by Mystic. Now Shawsek, he's got Fruity up field, but he's not able to. None of the passes working out right now, but the solo touches are doing all the work. They don't need the passes when they're able just to always win the 1v1s. That's great communication from Shawsek. He wanted to go for another touch there, but sees Farah sweeping in. He probably got called off rather than making another attempt. Makes it nice and easy. Good setup pass as he sweeps across to pop it up. Yep. Out Final. of nowhere, we're all tied up again. Final pass does work out. This Cookster comes down. Farah now into the midfield. Here comes Yukio. The shot. Oh, does Cookster get the redirect? He tried. A tie game. He stayed there just across halftime. Mystic with a miss. Fruity now up. Yukio has a response. Farah now over to the side. He's trying to distract. It's not gonna work. Cookser puts it over. He's got Yukio in the mid. Yukio up. Couldn't get through Chalset. Mystic now up into the corner again. Cookser turns back around looking for the follow-up shot. He breaks out Fruity there, but there's no one there to take the shot. And Fair is able to get it to midfield. Now Mystic off of the strong touch. It's over the box. Here comes Yukio dropping it onto the backboard once more. Fruity doesn't make contact. He's coming back out and Cookser's watching. And he's not gonna be able to do much with it. Just puts it over to the side. We're still tied up. Flipside doing a great job of applying pressure, but not in the most conventional way. We talk about rotations where the first player leads the charge and then the one behind him comes in. What Flipside's doing is the first person to make that attempt, if he is able to get there first, it is okay. They will have him turn back around and immediately challenge. It's applying a ton of pressure to PSG. Fair to them, they've been handling it rather well. 120 on the clock, Fruity puts it into the corner, Shawset rotates out. He gets it past Mystic, but Yukio's got his read. Picture airborne back towards midfield. This ball towards the net, Mystical cleared away. Fruity now to Farah. Yukio putting it back. Shawsets just keeping this one trapped all by himself. Touch after touch, he's reading flip side and keeping it trapped in the orange here. But Yukio able to get it past Farah now and up past midfield into the blue corner. He's got a demolition on the Fruity. shawsett has got to do it and he wins the challenge, but it's back across. And here comes Yukio. Oh, he tried. Mystic now falling back. Last line of defense. 
Punts it high. Cookshire looks for the redirect. Keeps it in the air. Mystics back up again. The 1-2-1 one, one off the ceiling, and it touches the backboard, but doesn't drop in. Cookshire now again. Help Yukio looking for the shot. Nobody's in a good position, and he puts it in. There's the lead for Flipside. Well done applying that pressure. I thought Mystic, he had the opportunity to play it back to Yukio, but he was back way too far, so a better option to actually play it off that backboard. And then it just works out. They sustain the offense. They get another one. They go by one. They are one thing away from being at match point. Can they grasp it? Can they hold on to this lead? 25 seconds. Nice glancing play from PSG to move the ball quickly over to the flip side corner, but almost too fast. They didn't have a, a, the ability to get in position on offense to deal with it. Now with 12 seconds left, they need one more goal. They can play in a zero second time. Flip side's gonna be trying to kill it the whole time, keep it on the ground. Cooks are to Mystic, nice passes just to eliminate any contact from PSG. It's up onto the wall. Fruity will follow it. He'll have the first contact, the first attempt here, but he just loses it, and Flipside's not going to give him any surfaces to bounce off of. Flipside takes game three, one away from securing that third place seed. Well played by Flipside, able to hold on. 3-2 victory. Game's getting closer and closer every single time. Last one going to overtime, but the difference here... A ton more shots for Flipside. I still can't think of the word. I guess precise would be one way to do it. They had four or five shots. Efficient? And yes. Is that the word you're looking that for? That one. I didn't, Wait, I still, thank you. I didn't understand what concept you were trying to talk about, so I was like... I, don't, I didn't want to keep going into it because it was just going to look worse. I got it, for sure. So now that I had some words to think about it... Same instantly. amount of shots and goals. I, 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 I got you. They weren't, they weren't like the same amount. It was a lot. It was close. It was close. Close one there. The, the, the last game we saw, did you look at the stats? There with PSG and Dignitas, there were 29 goals and 28 assists. Unreal. One, one, one play that wasn't assisted. That was the absolute brilliant team play there in that series. This one here, again, they're all working together to your try. It, it requires a whole village to score against any of these teams right now. Everybody's so good. Calling them a village? Sure, it takes a village as a phrase. I know, it's but a thing. <laughs> the fact that you call them PSG and Flipside Villages. I mean, it's yeah, you know, an organization, it's, it's a group effort. You ever seen the thing where like people like draw like maps of the internet and it's like you know like warfare between sites and stuff like that? You could do something like that with Rocket League. No, but I went to now. It's pretty fun. You should look it up. But in the meantime, let's watch and see if Flipside can get the sweep over PSG here in the third place match. They would secure that third place seed from Europe going into the World Championships. And PSG will be tasked with facing Chiefs and NRG in the very beginning of Vegas. Right now, they got to worry about Flipside. Nearly got reverse swept earlier today, PSG did. And now tasked with reverse sweeping. The broom's coming out in force here in the playoffs. It's Mystic up to Cookser now. Nice touch to eliminate Fruity. It's dropping down. Dangerous. Mystic not able to make contact. Shalset will get the clear. Shalset being very consistent here for PSG today. As Yukio puts this one up. Farah back across to Fruity. Cookser over to Yukio. Can he put it on target? If he had just been able to align it with the net, it would have been a goal, and it might be anyways. Cookser's shot is high, and Yukio doesn't have the follow-up. Two shots they had there and a completely available net. Neither of them worked out. Could have been a great start to flip side like most of their games, but luckily for PSG, they're going to be able to get away with that one. Two clear shots that should have went in. Mystic and Yukio trying to work together. Cookshire's now up. Fruity in the orange corner, keeping the ball there. Now Shawset moves over to the middle field to pick it up. Yukio with a nice dunk. Fair crossed it as well. So effectively a 2v1 win for Flipside. Fair now to the corner. He's got Shawset right underneath him. The two have been holding hands for the last 15 seconds or so. They'll finally space out. Pass. Shaw set to Farah, looking for Fruity in the midfield. It was a great team play, but just broken up by Flipside at the last moment. Now they'll look for the counterattack. Shalsat gets the save. Just through the air it came. Here comes Cookser up. Can he get underneath Fruity? No. Blocked there at the point of contact. And Yukio will keep the pressure on. That second touch from Shalsat. Put it underneath him. Mystic has to come in. Right now, flip side. Starting to just manhandle things. There's a momentary 2v2 as Yukio and Farah demolish each other. Mystic kills it onto the wall. And that just gives it for Farah off the respawn. He gets one and two there. PSG going to take the lead here in game four. Phenomenal save by Fruity to kick it off and get them out of their half. He had a pre-jump to dodge a bump during that onslaught of offense coming from flip side. 
allows him to clear it out, and then the demo, absolutely crucial. It relieves some of the pressure of that third man that was supposed to be there to keep that offense going. They break out, and all it takes is one attempt. Well, the speed of the, the plan of the backboard from Farah is just too fast for Cookser to really get a read on. And now, down by a one. And what I think, I could be wrong about this, I think this is PSG's first lead of the series. I'm going to back you up and say, yeah. I think I'm not only... sure, but yeah, I'll go with you. Why not? We'll see. Twitter will let us know if we're wrong. <laughs> not surprised. Rudy putting this one back into the box. Mystic not going to miss, not going to make contact. It goes all the way back down into the flip side corner. As Cookster will try to get this one out past Farah. There's Fruity. Coming up, keeping it in the orange. Midfield control. Held on right now by PSG's. Mystic again putting it high. This time Yukio will make contact and gets a pass all set. Mystic though. Lofted past it. Fruity and Farah working together onto the backboard. Cookser will send it nice and long ways down the field. Intercepted by Shalset back to Farah. Can he find Fruity? No, Cookser comes in from behind. Fruity was all the way in the back. Lucky for PSG there. We'd be at a tie game. Shalset now. Trying to carry it past. Yukio will connect with Cookser here, and he sends the long shot. Fruity gets in the way. Now Mystic. Back to Yukio. Pass play on the backboard. Here comes Cooks here, back into the box, but Fruity's there. Flipside has to respect, falls back. And a double commit to block Fruity in the air. I want too much respect on that one. Definitely scared of what he can do. Mystic puts this one high. Yukio and Mystic both up and open net. So Yukio was loose, but Cooks was there before anyone from PSG could take a shot. So Yukio moves up, Cooks with a nice flip. Go game ball control, get it past, shall set. Fera moves in, gets it past Mystic, but now Yukio up to Mystic in the corner. Can he find Cooks here? Doesn't even make contact, but Yukio underneath one. Shawset gets the block, and now Mystic back flipping away. The ball was coming straight towards him with one minute remaining. BSG holding on to the lead, looking for their first one in the series. Had to back off, absolutely no boost left in the tank. They needed to recharge, so they allow PSG to move in a little bit. They reboost and now have a chance to counter. Need a goal here to tie it back up. Yukio. Trying to get it past Farah, who just sits and stares him down. Now Shawset coming up. Mystic puts it out the ceiling. Fruity's got it. Yukio now up here. He can clear it over the top of Farah with a good touch. Oh, and Farah's touch is weak. Yukio slams it home. The nice punish from Yukio will tie the game. Great play by Yukio. A solo effort. That one bounces, and off the bounce, he gets a pinch to put some power on it. Completely catches Farah off guard. He's got to jump and make a last effort save. But because that touch is not to the side, it just plops right in front of Yukio, and he ties it up. 26 seconds, a chance for Flipside to get a clean sweep here and lock in that third seed in Las Vegas. Shulset over the side. Farah comes up, gets blocked by Mystic. The aggressive kickoff plays from PSG. They've done it time and time again. Yukio gets demolished. Fruity's moving up here. Can they find the pass? No, it's just wide. Farah nearly found it. Demo. <laughs> Try to get the game. Another Multiple one. demos. So many people dead. Only one player left here. They'll respawn on the back line. We'll touch. We'll go to overtime for a second time in the series. Last one was game two and Flipside took it. Can they do it again? Same scoreline as well. 2-1. The difference maker. PSG fighting for their last life in the regional championship. Can they do it? A reverse sweep needed as a shot from Yukio oh, saved. Blocked, but Cookser, he's lurking, looking for the opportunities. He knows they won't have much boost, but he misses in the midfield, and now the counterattack down the field. Fair will put it in. PSG survives. Flip side tactics trying to send everything for a chance to end it here, but it doesn't matter. PSG holds on the counterattack, and we go to game five. The defense held. Earlier today, we were watching PSG, and they they just on defense will just leave three players in net. They literally build a wall and say, beat us in the 1v1s. Either demo us or beat us. And neither team, no team has been able to successfully, consistently demolish PSG right now, even though we saw it there at the end, a few of them. But when they're in net, they're doing a good job getting away from the demos and they're winning the challenges. And there at the end, you saw Yukio coming in. He just had to push it through, couldn't get it through the wall. Cookser misses, and it's just an open shot for Farah. Fortunately for PSG, it's kind of a patchwork effort. They need to find a way to make sure that they're sweeping through or rotating through. So when those clears do happen, they're not settling in front of the net. You saw it again. They're lucky they've got three people still in the box able to try to get those saves, but my goodness, if they, you know, if Flipside able to come in and work a demo in front of that net, it's going to open wide open.
Yeah, well, here, it, interesting that we see four saves from Yukio and three from Mystic Zero from Cookser, who had been doing the majority of the saving here, playing a lot of that back line. He's starting to get a little bit more aggressive, but didn't get any assist or goals either and only put up four shots. So Cookser, a little bit of a quiet series there, and uh, some openings created that PSG was able to abuse. Now we'll go to game five. Should be an exciting one again as for flip side, like you said. I think they're just a little bit more... Uh a little bit more direct. It's allowing them to apply pretty good pressure, but for the most part, like, pretty easy to save for PSG. A shot on target, there's already three in the box. Might as well just jump and make a save. So until they start doing these infill passes or they work in demos like they did in game one, a lot of the reason why they applied that pressure early on is because those demos are working. So credit to PSG, kind of minimizing them until the last two that we saw at the end. But other than that, flip side's going to have to change it up. Flip side still with match point. PSG has to win three more straight. They're getting that winning game four, the right start. The only start they had, and they took it. Now here, neutral play to start off game five. Yukio with a touch over one. Fruity in the corner, can't gain ball control. Yukio puts this one high. Fair needs to make a good, solid contact. He gets it out in front of the box, but Cookster takes the shot. Shaw set gets it away. Now Mystic in with the rebound. Putting it back in front of the box. Here comes Yukio. Doesn't make contact. And Cookster will turn back around and look for one last attempt. So he puts it on the backboard. Shaw set and Fruity will be able to get this one away. Back up to midfield. Don't like that flip side's doing that. Cookster had options there. He turned around to challenge. It was a great idea to apply that pressure, but rather than shooting it directly on target, Pass it over to Mystic. Dribble it. Anything else. Pop it up to yourself. We know you can hit those double touches. A little bit too direct. A little bit too calculated. Shaw set over the top. A one. Yukio on the backboard now. Learning to pass to one and trying to get it underneath Farah. Gets it back towards the box. And now lofted in front. Fruity will drop it back down. Nobody's there. Mystic picks it up by himself. Couldn't get the flick on Farah. So the ball will go lateral at the midfield. And then a win from Shaw set puts it back into the corner again. Yukio taking a lot of time getting control of this ball. Farrell will look to capitalize on that. Drops in. Fruity up for the shot. Can't get it underneath the crossbar. But the pressure's still on a bit for PSG. Shalsa puts it back in and now Farrell lurking, looking for the pass play. He goes up for it. Nobody makes contact. Let's go all the way back to Fruity. Oh my goodness, what a touch from Farrell. Up in the corner. Flip side, able to get it back up to midfield and slowly regaining control of the pitch. Farrell winning another challenge on the wall. He's been very consistent on the wall today. It's Fruity pass two there. Open net. Shaw set should be able to put this in, but he just misses the ball. Yukio was waiting back post. This is the best place he could be, but still a very sticky situation. He's going to breathe a sigh of relief on that one. Gets it all the way back down the field. Not a great touch from Shaw set. His Mystic's up. Fruity puts it over the side. Can Yukio find Cookser? He's not even going to go for it. As Fruity gets it past the back line. Cookser's got to play defense. As Farrah comes in, it goes home on the far side. PSG scores. Not a guy I can find myself critiquing often. Probably the savant of this game. Cooks are just looking lost multiple times instead of passing or letting his teammates take it. We're in a better position. He's trying to force stuff. Trying to, like, I guess, insert himself into plays that he doesn't really need to. It and looks creating issues. It looks to me like he was waiting for the pass from Yukio, and then the pass did not come through, and he's like, oh my goodness, I need to play defense. I'm the back line. Yeah, that particular situation just didn't work out, but... Throughout that entire back end, threw away possession, cheated up a little bit too far, had an option for Mystic to take it downfield and him support that, but just pushed it to the wall and gave away possession. PSG who scored first in game, oh, this will tie it up here from Cookster, puts it in another tie game. They scored first in game four, and now they scored in game five as well. we'll see if they can be able to regain their lead. It took them overtime last time. Got right what now. I'm talking about though, Cookster, great idea. Let Yukio bring it up, creates the challenge, 50-50 rolls out. A bump from Yukio trying to come out and draw that last defender out. He just launches it at net. Just serves it to himself. A great idea from Mystic, but not the best execution as he tried to pass it to Cookser here off the kickoff. Now Farrell over to Fruity. Infield pass gets Cookser and Yukio both up. Leaves everybody moving out from net. Charlesette will go for the high play. Mystic and Cookser working together, getting this one back down. Coming towards the box, Cookser's following it as a threat. Here comes Mystic up as well. Now Yukio, the last man back, gets it up high. Can he follow it himself? He'll put it into the corner. Bring Fruity along with him. Fruity picking it up, getting it back to midfield. Challenged by Cookser, goes out. And now Mystic he and Yukio are both up. Shaw set dribbling this one by himself. He's got Cookser in the back to deal with. That'll be Mystic. Following the 50-50s on the wall, PSG just consistently winning 
is constantly giving them control in Flipside's half. Pace is definitely changing PSG's favor. Yukio with the soul play, the boy oh, what a did it. shot from Yukio. Just taking it down by himself, leading the charge. He has the rest of the team following him here, but he didn't even need him. Just over the top of Fruity and the lead goes to flip side. What a perfect flick from Yukio. No one challenging him on the way down. He gets the space, and as soon as he gets into that sweet spot, jumps, turns his car, and then uses the top corner to flick it with power top right. Perfectly executed and through keyboard. Making it look so easy. I think James talked about it at some point, I think it was this week or last week, about keyboard players and how precise they have to be because it's either on or off for those inputs. And at this point, it's like, does your peripheral even matter? Three players, well, it's, it's, it's becoming more, not less. Fruity shot just barely wide here to tie the game. As Yukio looks to dribble it out, here goes Cookser. Got it past Farah. Finally, a mistake on the wall that Flipside can abuse. It goes back up and into the middle. Shaw sets airborne, sends it long ways down the field. Yukio's there and plays it away. Mystic looking for the transition. Goes straight under the hood of Fruity and back onto the wall once more. Here comes Farah in with a shot. Just a little bit high, but drops into the box, and Mystic gets the clear. Shaw set now back in once more. Mystic this time a long way away. 20 seconds left. Up by one. Flipside, they hold on to this. They'll secure the third place finish for season six. Third place finishing a chance to play against G2 at LAN. Only 10 seconds left. They're doing a good job of just kind of spreading the field, applying this pressure. Nothing too crazy. As you see, Cooks are just wasting as much time as possible. But this could be bad. Well, all the way back down is lofted. Here comes Farrah. One last shot. Does he put it on target? It's just a bit high. Shot set finds it, though. The buzzer beater. And we go to overtime. Leaving it to chance. Unfortunately for Yukio, he passes it straight up. And then this jump across doesn't connect. Overtime, that could have been it. All they had to do was apply the pressure, but they back off and PSG makes them eat it. They found it. And now in overtime. PSG just won in overtime. The next goal for Flipside. If they're able to win this overtime, it'll be all done. Their season will have concluded. The next time we'll see them play is in Vegas. Yukio onto the backboard. Here comes the clears from PSG, back down the field into the corner. Mystic up, set and Farah trying to work this corner to give themselves another opportunity, but Yukio and Cookster have other ideas. Back down the field, off the backboard, down into the box. Fruity doesn't make a great touch, and Cookster goes to zone him out. Here comes Yukio for the shot, for the win. Can't do it, though, as Fruity gets it away. set looking to work with Farah. So now paced his captain a little bit, but they, Cookster misses. What is this? The mistakes? Nearly goes in, the crossbar helps him out and gets it away, but PSG trying to take the lead. Fruity can't make contact there, and Cookster will look to get it away. Final minute, they're struggling just to get out of their own corner. Multiple times, PSG. The defense coming up clutch. Just packing the box as much as they can. They will not be pushed over. These guys doing everything in their power to get these wins. Yukio. Past one off the ceiling, the shot, a brilliant laser beam, and Farah deflects. Cooks are now up once more. Flipside trying to build pressure, trying to end the series right now. Farah and Fruity not in the best positions. They get a soft touch. It's over the top of Yukio. It's good enough. Force Flipside to fall back. Farah now into the corner, onto the wall. Here's Fruity up, dropping it down. Mystic gets it away. Pressure building over and over again. Yukio now, can he get it past Fruity? A bump in the midfield. Everybody tangled up. Nobody in a good position. Shaw sets touch is going to be very light. Cookster looks for the read, but Farah gets it through. Now up by himself. One more shot, and it's a miss off to the side. Mystic to follow. Shaw set gets it past him. Yukio now, can he connect with Mystic? Looking for Cookster. The pass across the field. Farah's there. Before Cookster could find the shot, he'd fallen all the way back. Two minutes of overtime coming on. PSG with one of the most exciting overtimes we've seen in RLCS earlier today, trying to make it two on the day. Usually the buzz repeaters coming from Bashi and the squad from Vitality. But PSG, the team that beat them, move on here and guarantee themselves a spot and land. But as this overtime continues, the momentum's shifting more and more to PSG's side. Shaw set plays into this corner. Mystic with the pass inwards. Kutzer for the win and put it in for Kui. Gets it all the way. Third place secured. And Flipside will face off against G2. Flipside secure in third place and a great play. Giving it to their captain. But Mystic, a beautiful bump at the end. He sets it up, goes straight for the goal. He gets underneath it, but pops him out of the way. 
Congratulations to Flipside Tactics. Third place going in to Las Vegas.